DCP Player Free. Get it now from digital.net.au. Hi, this is James Gardner, the Senior Tech Geek, and today I'm going to do a video about what you can plug into a Series 2 digital cinema projector. I've already done a video on the Series 1, but we're talking about the Series 2 in this video, and they're a very different animal. Um, series 2 has been a, a vast different design and uh, implementation from each manufacturer is very different. So it's not a very simple answer to ask what you can plug in because it's actually can be different between each manufacturer. Now I just want to go through some examples here. And behind me for example, uh, there's a trend to go to the IMS or integrated media server. Now in that situation, the actual um, alternative content input is actually on, I've actually got a cable plugged into here from my laptop just to show you as a demonstration. It's going through the actual IMS and instead of actually if this was a, a more of a one of the, the D, DP2K or 4K you would actually have uh, a Barco uh, uh, alternative input board in here as well. Into the, into the more cost effective versions they've removed that because they're, they're saving costs. But when we talk about that uh, let's just quickly talk about each of the manufacturers, Christie, NEC and Barco. Uh, in their more common models, before these smaller ones, they would have their inbuilt um, HDMI usually, I mean DVI usually plug, it's, it's HDMI on these, but it's on the bigger projectors usually a DVI. And what can that you plug into those um, ports? Well, you really need to look at the manual because it's different for each manufacturer because in the Series 2, they actually build their own in interface boards. Uh, for example of this, um, Barco for example, their interface boards because of their background in, in uh, events and, and other projector, projector manufacturing, in, if this had their uh, DVI board, their DVI board supports all fam formats up to 2048 by 1080 down. That's the only projector I've seen do that. Most of them only do 1920 by 1080. And for example, this IMS from Doremi, if you plug it in, it will only report uh, 1980 by, uh, sorry, 1920 by 1080. Now, how do I know that? Well, when you plug, uh, when you get a cable like this and you plug it into a, a computer, what would usually happen is an EDID protocol goes over the cable and it will report back to the computer what resolutions that you can actually plug in. Now that's the best way to do it. Uh, you can plug that in and you can get a list of all those sort of resolutions generally uh, like this and most of the other boards can pretty much take anything anything you plug into them in the new Series 2 projector. So pretty much you can plug anything into them realistically. But it's you just need to take care about how it actually deals with it. So here we are looking at my laptop screen and as you can see number one is my laptop screen and number two is the HDMI cable going from my laptop to the projector. And we are looking at its resolutions now. Now the default resolution that came straight up is 1920 by 1080. But if we have a look here, you can pretty much see any resolution you want. If I scroll down here, you'll see that changing any resolution you want. Now this has been reported to be what's capable to have been plugged into that IMS on the Doremi. So as you can see here, pretty much any resolution you want, if you want to push it into the projector, it should deal with it, or into the IMS in this case, it will deal with it. So yes, very capable, uh, can pretty much drive it any way you want. Also you can change the frequencies if you need to drive it at uh, 24 and other uh, more common frequencies you might get out of a DVD player, that should also work. So yes, very capable. Now in terms of the other issues about plugging these into uh, uh, a device that's giving out a HDMI signal is what about um, if it's giving something a low resolution like a DV or a DVD or something well in this case for example the IMS 1000 actually has a scalar built in you actually can configure it how to scale it it'll magnify the image up to uh, the the size of the screen based on the uh, there's you can basically say fill to the top or fill to the sides and cut it you know depending on how you want to view the, the image and uh, you can do that pretty much with any signal you're pushing in there. So, um, yes, yeah, so what can you plug into these? Pretty much anything now. Um, you just really need to get them configured correctly. Now, the thing to know, though, 
uh, with this trend trend towards IMSs is that the input devices, the SDI and HDMI here, are actually on the IMS itself. So it's not as simple as pushing a button up here on the macro buttons on the projector. You actually have to push a macro that's suitable for the signal you're going to be sending from the IMS and then you have to go to the IMS login and tell it what input that you want to use. The internal input which is the DCI player, the HDMI or the SDI. And then you can actually tell it how you want to scale it, if you want to scale it one to one or um, scale it to fit uh, top to bottom or left or side to side. Now that pretty much gives you any capabilities you want, uh, plugging anything into it. Um, so yes, what can you plug into a Series 2 digital cinema projector? Pretty much anything. And that's a good, good thing because uh, it's common where cinemas are starting to become more flexible in the services that they offer for doing presentations, etc. If someone is at the front who wants to do a keynote or a PowerPoint presentation or interactive presentation, uh, as long as you can get the signal up from their laptop or whatever device they are using up to here, you can plug it in. You can plug it in. The only other reason you probably might want to get a scaler to go with this is if you are actually feeding it from uh, other, other type of signals like YC, YUV, composite signals. But typically, uh, if you're just sending it HDMI, you can just plug it in. And that's good. That uh, uses less equipment, it's cheaper compared to the, uh, the older projectors. You used to have to buy a scale or other equipment to go with it a lot of the time. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed my video on, um, on what you can plug into a DCI projector, Series 2. And thanks for watching. This is James Gardner, the Cinetech Geek. Bye for now.